Hello folks, welcome back to another video. This is just a really quick video update, I mean message update, to let you know that um, Deliver That has not responded to my text or my comment that I made back to them when they originally commented on my, I think it was my second Deliver That video that I did, which I was talking about the tip pools and how I believe that they were stealing the money from the tip pools. And so I got a response from one of the uh, corporate team members or someone in corporate in the office. And they gave me a generic message saying, oh, well, we don't do that type of stuff. We're an honest company or something like that. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I did a rebuttal video. I did another video and I also responded in a, in a comment or a text. How come I haven't heard back anything from them? Well, the answer to that is, is that they are lying to you folks. It, deliver that is stealing the tips. They are taking at least a percentage of them. They don't, you think that if someone's tipping 200 bucks or 100 bucks or $50, right? You think that they're, okay, so they give you $27 out of it and they, they're, they're able to take the, the rest of it and take it for themselves? Where's the oversight? There's no oversight, right? So we're going to have to investigate this company a lot more. And we're going to have to do some hard research. And I would appreciate any of you that could bring me any information that you can, that you know, uh, even if you are on the inside office and you want to be like a whistleblower, I'm more than willing to listen to you. Because a lot of times companies will come forward and they'll say, hey, you know, listen, I've had people from DoorDash contact me from the inside to tell me what's going on, like, in a roundabout way. I mean, okay, so the thing about it is, folks, is that, you know, Deliver That uses the tip pool thing. And all that is is an excuse for them to be able to manipulate the app, manipulate what comes in. I mean, they've sent me some orders, right? Like they'll contact you in a message saying, hey, we have an $80 order tomorrow morning or we have one this morning if you want to take it, right? And on its face, it sounds great because you're, you're picking up two orders, but, but I have to drive 35 to 40 miles just to do that order and it's $20 in gas, so I'm only making 60 And then there's no orders after that because you've already delivered the orders for lunchtime. What are you gonna do, sit around for another six to eight hours to wait for dinner time and make what, another 35? It's not worth it. But the point of it is, people who were delivering these orders on, on, the, on its face before when they were doing DoorDash, sometimes you'd get tip, tipped 150 bucks, 200 bucks, 250 on a thousand dollar order because someone put in 20 or 30% of what the bill was. Because the corporate offices of companies, they don't care about, they just write that off in tax. So they're able to do that for you. But deliver that is acting like a catcher's glove and intercepting all of the money that's coming in. And then they're saying they're putting it in a tip pool. Well, we need to go after them in court too. We need to bring like uh, transparency and we need to sue them basically because I, I don't want to make $30. I don't want to make $27 every time I go for a delivery because the guy could have given me $150 and I want that $150 in my pocket. Don't you folks? So again, I'm reaching out to, uh, to deliver that, to come back to this video and respond in here with another response. If you don't respond, that's the worst thing you can do because now we got you. Now we know you're lying. If you, if, if you aren't lying, if you are not lying, then you need to defend yourself, okay? So that's about all I got for you, folks. Appreciate you uh, watching this video and listening to the message. And I'll see you guys and gals on the next one. Take care.